Hey everybody, this is Noel Mosley. I have a, I have a short video for us about the Pensacola Dragon Boat Festival. We have a race coming up this Saturday, September the 8th, 2018 for our team, the Perdido Key Fireball Dragons. So we are looking for 20 paddlers and one drummer to fill up our boat. We have three races that day, so I actually need more than just 20 paddlers and one drummer. So we can have some alternates and trade out throughout the three different races. Uh, this is a whole day event, and this benefits two different charities, Junior Achievement and Gulf Coast Kids House. Great charities for the local Pensacola area. Uh, I want to also give our sponsor a uh, shout out to the sponsor for this uh, event, Wind Creek Casino and Hotel in Atmore, Alabama. Great to have them with us this year. A few frequently asked questions that I want to uh, give to our team for the race this weekend. The first two Go hand in hand. When can I set up our uh, tent and everything else that goes with it? And when should I not be setting up our tent and everything that goes with it? So we will probably set up our tent on Friday. So anything after noon on Friday on September 7th, we'll be able to set up and we'll be able to leave it there overnight. They'll have the uh, Pensacola Police Department watching it overnight. So we'll do that. Uh, if uh, the weather should be good, uh, we plan to do that for Friday night. If the weather should not be good, we have to do it Saturday morning and we have to get everything set up and done before 7.30 in the morning because you can't leave any cars there after 7.30. They'll tow us. Uh, they just don't have enough parking for this uh, park in downtown uh, in Pensacola. So we're aiming for our setup of the tents and after that goes in our tents on Friday evening. Next question, where is this festival? This is Bayview Park at 2001 Lloyd, uh, Lloyd Street, Pensacola, Florida. It's over in East Hill, and it's uh, Bayou Tejar. It's T-E-X-A-R. Great little park. I was there last night for uh, our first practice run. All right, what kind of footwear should we use for this uh, race tomorrow on Saturday? Uh, no flip-flops. Use closed toe shoes like your uh, tennis shoes or boat shoes, but uh, they're very adamant about no flip flops. Keep that in mind when you come to the race on Saturday. Food and refreshments available. Yes, they will have plenty of vendors available where we can purchase the food. Otherwise, we have to leave the festival and go outside to get uh, food from local area restaurants and such. Uh, we cannot set up a grill, so it's either purchase food on site. Uh, as well as beer, water, and uh, dragon juice uh, from the charity that's running this event or go off-site to get that stuff. What is the best view of the races? We will have two tents in the area for uh, the teams. that uh, We do not uh, back up to the water, so we don't have really have a good view from our tent, but we do have bleachers and there's plenty of room around the water. They uh, had about 7,500 people at last year's event, so if it's good weather, which it should be good weather, uh, expect a lot of people to be up and down that shoreline. But it's sloped, so we should be able to still have a good view, uh, even if you're not right up on the shore. And parking. So there's going to be no parking allowed in the festival area That's as of 7.30 Saturday morning. Uh, any car left there will be towed. Uh, so they have set up some um, trolley car, uh, uh, buses that will ferry us from the different parks in the area and their parking spaces over to this festival area. And I'll have maps for that in a few slides after this. Things to bring and things not to bring. Okay, so things to bring. We are going to bring two 10 by 10 uh, fold up tents. I think Chris Mull is bringing one uh, and I'm looking for somebody else to bring a second 10 by 10 tent. We can't go larger than 10 by 10 because anything big, bigger than 10 by 10 has to be approved by the fire marshal and that costs $25. So just 10 by 10 tents. Uh, we can bring coolers and ice, bring some sunblock. We're going to need that. We'll be out there all day, 8 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in, uh, in the afternoon. Uh, cash or credit is available for our food, t-shirts, uh, donations, and vendors. Bring your hats, sunglasses, water bottles, chairs. You'll bring them, camera, GoPro, a generator. I think Chris Mull is bringing us a generator for our tent. Um, if anybody has any GoPro cameras or anything like that that can record us as we're on the boat, in the race, or even from the shore so we can get some good video of what we're doing, uh, please send that my way to me. Uh, you can find me on our a Facebook page or uh, my cell phone text me at 334-538-0580. Uh, 
uh, things not to bring. Don't worry about a life jacket. They've got all those provided for us. Don't worry about a paddle. They provide that for us. And uh, the two things at the bottom, no alcohol and no grills for the festival. If it's going to be inside the festival provided by the charity organizers. Race day and race format. So we have three races. They want us to be at our uh, marshalling area 20 minutes before our race and then 15 minutes before the rest of your races. Anybody that's going to be on our boat will have to have a, uh, the waiver sign and uh, wristbands. Uh, they do want us to have, uh, encourage us to have eight female paddlers. Uh, if we don't have eight female paddlers, which right now on my list, I'm kind of short of that. Uh, we get penalized uh, by a few seconds, uh, but don't, we'll do the best we can. And if we don't have enough, we'll just take those extra seconds. And we'll make up for it on the water. Uh, we do need drummers for these three races. So I haven't really picked out anybody to be the drummer for the boats. Uh, so if you are interested in being a drummer for our team, let me know. I'll see you tonight at the practice race or Saturday. Uh, they have a lot of boats in this race, so like over 40 boats. So they're gonna really going to be sticking to the schedule as close as possible. So if we're late for our marshalling area, like 20 minutes before the first race, uh, they may even skip us. So let's don't let that happen. Let's be there on time, even ahead of time. And that race format, we're going to have three races. Um, and then at the end of that, they'll have the semifinal and the championship rounds. So uh, not all of our paddlers will have to race all every single race uh, you may just feel like doing one race and is trading out with somebody one of the alternates so that's fine so just let me know uh, I'll be glad to switch people around throughout the day the race day, uh, day itinerary 7 30 in the morning all cars have to be gone everything should be set up and ready by that time <clears throat> they'll have the dragon boats in the water for us by then opening ceremonies are eight o'clock in the morning you don't have to be there but i would love to see the entire team there so there'll be pr uh, probably plenty of photo ops for that time i'll be down on the uh, dock for the captain's meeting at 8 30 and the races begin at nine o'clock um kids stuff 10 o'clock so feel free to bring your kids with you let them hang out till 2 p.m uh, lunch 12 o'clock races start back at 1 the final races start at 4 and award ceremony go at 5 o'clock now for our team uh, we have our first two races scheduled for us already we're going to be coming out at uh, to the Marshall area at 10 40 that morning and our boat will start paddling at 11 o'clock and then our second race will be at uh, in the marshalling area at 105 uh, and then we start paddling that boat at 1 20 p.m. So those two races are already scheduled for us. And then uh, they'll come back and tell us when we uh, get to race for the final round. All right, a quick map here of the festival grounds for us. This is Bay View Park over on East Hill. Uh, all the trolleys will bring everybody in through this north location, this little circle here. And then they'll walk into the parking lot through all the festival areas. Uh, and the races will be between these two red uh, boundaries. I believe this one on the north side will be the starting one uh, and then the bottom one here will be the finish line. Don't hold me to that. They may switch that up. Um, all these different areas are different parts for um, like the food vendors um, and then we'll have our uh, athletes village right here in this uh, red section. There's also going to be a VIP section which I believe will be this purple section right here by the water. Um, all of us are welcome to go in that tent, but you do have to pay $10 to get into the VIP tent. But that is where they have all the full bar. So I'm sure I'll see all my teammates there. So uh, a lot of good info there. I'll leave that up for a second. The trolley system. So uh, 7.30 in the morning, we have to have all of our cars out of the uh, Bayview Park area. And we have to go to one of the other parks in this area uh, to actually park for the whole day. And then we catch a trolley that takes us back to Bayview Park. Um, these maps kind of overlap each other. Two distinct routes. You've got different pickup points along each of these routes. Um, you can probably just Google these on your uh, Google Maps on your phone. Uh, they've got a pickup point at, uh, I guess it's Operetto Square, Malaga Square, and Toledo Square as well as in this bottom part, this is, uh, I don't know, Estra Madura Square, and uh, they mentioned uh, Aperto Square again as well. 
So any of those points, park around those areas, grab a trolley, it'll take you right back down to Bayview Park. Athletes Village. We've got a lot of tents here, a lot of teams that are lined up, even more than they show here. We have site number 30. So we are right on this back point right here, number 30. Um, so again, we're not backed up to the water, so we'll just have ha as our staging area and resting area. Uh, we're going to set up two tents, so we'll have this main one right where you see the 30, and then we'll have a second tent right behind it under the trees. Awards, a lot of awards are going out for this competition. Uh, that top session race winners, we've got a trophy for the champions, and then they hand out paddles for the first runner-up, and another paddle for the second runner-up, and a uh, paddle for uh, all women's team, which will not be us, we don't have enough to qualify for that. Fundraising winners, if you are out there raising money for this event, they have trophies and free registration for the team that raises the most money. And we're doing pretty well with our team for that one. Um, if you are raising money under your name, the top individual fundraiser could win a $1,000 Wyndham gift certificate and a paddle. Um, and if you're is a individual runner-up for fundraiser, a free night stay at Wind Creek Casino and Spa Package. Team contest at the very uh, bottom four there, they're giving out awards for most team spirit, best team name, best dress drummer, and best athletes village theme. So we are dressing up our tents and with the fireball dragon theme. So if you've got some stuff that you want to contribute to that, anything related to fireball or dragons, bring it with you. We'll put that up in the tent. Again, we haven't picked up a drummer, but if you want to be a drummer for us, uh, you can win a trophy if you just outlandishly dress up and paddle. Uh, I mean, not paddle, but beat that drum. All right, let's see what's the next slide here for us. That's just details about individual fundraiser for the individual person that runs, uh, that raises the most money, $1,000 vacation voucher. And last minute fundraising ideas. If you are trying to go out and raise some money, I'll just let you pause your video and you can read through those details there without me having to go through it for you. But looking forward to this weekend, should be great weather. We had a great practice last night over on Bayview. We have another one this Thursday at um, 6 p.m. And we may even have one on Friday if they have available spots if I don't have everybody show up this evening. All right, so looking forward to it. And it's going to be a fun, fun weekend. Thanks, everybody, and glad to see you there.